GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Chennai cells let the celebrations begin. Hello and welcome to Kalata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about Prashant Neel's action-packed Salar Part 1 ceasefire. The film takes its time to get going, but eventually settles into a decent watch. Now, Prashant Neel, he loves dark, violent worlds. In his first film, Ugram, we had Mugohar. Then came the gold fields of KGF and now in Salar, part 1 ceasefire, we have Khansar, which exists within India geographically, but for all other purposes is its own little country. In every film, Prashant keeps upping the tone and the texture. In Mughor, we just had some generic gangsters or gang lords. In the KGF films, things got a little more specific. We got gangsters with a very specific motive of controlling and ruling a gold-producing land. In Salar, Prashant goes all out with Khansar. It is ruled by three tribes. Among the rulers, there are elaborate voting rituals. Among the savages, there are elaborate raping rituals involving a kite and things like that. Every tribe has its own lineage of fathers and sons and assorted others. It's dense, it's fascinating, it's mapped down to the tiniest, minutest detail and for some strange reason, it all appears after the intermission point. Until then, we are asked to watch Ugram all over again. Once again, we get a foreign return damsel who is in distress because of reasons that have to do with her father. Her name is Adya and she is played this time by Shruti Hasan. Once again, we get a hero who has promised his mother that he will never get into a fight. Ishwari Rao plays the mother, narrating all her lines with fiery eyes and through clenched teeth. Shriya Reddy plays a villainess, narrating all her lines with fiery eyes and through clenched teeth. In the midst of all this, it's a bit of a relief to witness the clueless Adya, who's the audience substitute. She is the one to whom the character played by Maim Gopi tells the story of Khansar. There's one very good screenwriting decision in the pre-interval portion and that's to open the film with Deva and Varada, the Prabhas and Prithviraj characters as teenagers. We get a superb friendship scene in which Deva gives up his life for Varada in a manner of speaking and Varada resuscitates him, brings him back to life. The whole I will give my life for you trope that becomes literal here and it opens the film with a big bang. The problem with the rest of the first half though is that it's all so generic. Way back in Ugram, we knew that it was just a matter of time before the mother freed the hero from his vow never to fight again and she asks him to fight the right fight. And that was with the leading man of the stature of Sri Murali. This is Prabhas. So we just keep waiting for the inevitable transformation to action hero. This particular action sequence is unremarkable. It's the same old thing where Prabhas hits goon number one who goes flying in slow motion and he hits goon number two who goes flying in slow motion and so on and so forth. The second half fights are much better. There's one with a double axe that's satisfactorily gory and the climactic fight has more chopped body parts than I think all the Indian movies I have seen so far. Bhuvan Gowda's black-toned cinematography makes everything look super classy and Ravi Basro's music makes everything super emotional. The highs are really high. I had goose flesh at one point when Deva is referred to as Kali's son and we get a stunning image that makes it look like he has many hands like the goddess. I like the way Ujwal Kulkarni's micro-cut editing worked in tandem with the screenplay. I liked that the prelude to the opening fight is given to us only in the second half. I like the callback to the boy who serves tea. I like the scene where two elderly cleaning women are established for a payoff that has to do with bullets. I like the visuals of the red veiled clan, but I wish the whole film had been about Khansar and that the whole Adya portion had been axed. That way the world of Khansar and the people would have breathed more. Now Tinu Anand for one is used mainly for reaction shots and some of the time I found it confusing to make out who's who. Salar part 1 is a bit exhausting that way but it's a decent watch, the solid watch. It comes together in the head satisfyingly. Prabhas and Prithviraj work well together. The sequel promises to fill in a lot of the gaps and we will hopefully see more of the mad man that we are told Deva is. 
and so the wait begins. That's it about Salar part 1 ceasefire. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The Chennai Sales, let the celebrations begin.